Mm. I'm looking forward to this fight on Saturday because I've always been a huge boxing fan. But is it intimidating having him cheering you on? <laughs> I wouldn't say it's intimidating. It's, uh, you know, when you have your father behind you 100% in when you're doing what you love, it's, uh, it's an inspiration and it only boosts my morale and, and, and makes me fight harder. So, uh, you know, having him in my corner. Do you think it's something that you're born with? Because you didn't, weren't aware of everything that your father was doing until you got to an older age. And even then you still were interested in the ring and in boxing. So do you think it's in you? I, I believe I have, uh, you know, royal block boxing blood inside of me. <laughs> but at the same time, if you look back at history, um, you know, if you look at all the past world champions and their sons, None of them made it. It's very rare. I don't, I don't think this ever happened before, especially in Britain, where there's been a father and son who have both been world champion. So if you look at it from that point of view, this, the odds were stacked against me. Mm. Why um, do you think that you are being so successful then, as opposed to all those others? You know, it, it's, it's hard work. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's where I can tell you um, I've given him the best tutelage. And the way I, you see, the way, the reason people get it wrong is because they help them. I didn't help him. I put pressure on him. Uh-huh. I tried to break him. Oh. I left him, I left, I, 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 so I, but this militant. Is, but this is why he's winning. OK, but the, a lot of your, I mean, you were a great boxer. Thank you. Uh, in your day, but a lot of it was about showmanship and the whole, the clothes, the whole um, stuff around you, the mm. whole um, show business side mm. of it. Mm -hmm. Are you two different characters? Well, right. I don't wear a monocle and drive a truck. <laughs> but, uh, but in terms of my fighting style, uh, you know, it, it's very Marmite. I have a lot of people that love it, and I have some people who uh, don't love it so much. You know, they say that I might be a bit too brash or cocky, but, mm. um, you know, what they don't understand is when you're in a fight, when you're fighting in front of millions of people on, on live television, uh, you know, it's it brings a beast out inside you. And that is what they're seeing. It's not me pretending, it's not me, uh, you, know, uh, you know, looking for attention. That's just how I am in my fight situation. And oh. What I want to know is, how do you as a parent mm. watch your child go into the ring and fight somebody? Because I would just be like, oh, trying to dive in front. Uh, do you not ever worry about his safety? Well, you know, the instruction um, or the parenting I've given him has been the type of parenting that makes him the danger. So I'm actually not worried about them because he has been built correctly. So he seeks and destroys. Uh, mm -hmm. I am more concerned, as you may uh, have seen in the past, I'm more concerned for the opponents. This is a very dangerous young man in the ring. A mm. very dangerous Now young you're man. giving But a nice guy outside of the ring. <laughs> no, Don't worry. no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not going to come to Psychological yeah. build up, which yeah. all boxers do, and fair play to you, you've done that. You've ramped him up, you've done the this, build up which you yeah. did yourself in your day. It's well, I'm, I'm, I'm actually being absolutely honest about, mm. about the, the mindset he has and the ability. Mm. I mean, oh, look, I mean, it's said that I've heard it said by very good trainers like Ronnie Davis, who's mm. been with me for 30 years or so. He is an upgraded version of me, but. He's stronger and he's much yeah. faster. Mm. Do, do you think a lot of that comes from, obviously, he, he, you will have learned from your mistakes. You're passing that education on, on to him. Um, you've been quoted as, uh, in, in the papers recently, obviously, you have spent a lot of time uh, together as his trainer, as his manager, making sure that he is absolutely fighting fit. Mm -hmm. But it, it's sadly taken a toll on your marriage and your relationships. Is, 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 do you think that it's, it's possible to have both? Because you're so focused, obviously, on, on Chris Jr.'s career. I don't know how the media do what they do and get these stories, because they are, it, it seems they are a law unto themselves. Mm, uh, because no one is really supposed to know about this. Um, but the fact is, I've had to spend time uh, with my son. Uh, my duty is, and the love is, as you know, as a parent, it's, it's like that. Do you have a girlfriend, Chris? Boxing is my girlfriend. <laughs> 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 many, you have many, but do you? Would the, you have time for a girlfriend? You know, boxing, I say boxing is my girlfriend. Do you have time girlfriend. for a girlfriend, Chris? <laughs> Listen, I, I make time for whatever I want to make time That's for. That's the answer. <laughs> but with boxing, 
the better I treat her, the more attention I give her. Oh, OK. The more we get out of our relationship. <laughs> Because obviously I'll be watching Saturday. Because even back in the day, Ronnie Davis, when you're training for him, and being from Brighton, we're Brighton, by the way. Um, when you, I see your dad in the ring after the rounds, trying to like talk you through it, you just look like you want to say, oh, "Dad, just shut up a minute, let me box." Does it? Do you actually take it in what he's saying? Because you do. You, I love it. You come in, still give it all that, but then you're having a go, telling him what to do. Um, you know, I mean, it all depends. Some things you hear, some things stay in your mind. But when you're in that fight situation. Uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what what people are telling you. You know, you have you have to find your own path. You have to yeah. you have to work out what you're going to do to beat the man in front of you.